Hello everybody, this is Dylan and this is episode 4 of Silent Hill 2. We're going to go ahead and load our save. This, this is where we left off. That was something else I was doing. So we left off on a really sad note. <laughs> Quite horrific. It's uh, this hospital. Marie is dead. I couldn't protect her. And Laura has run off somewhere. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Mary, what should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking... I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. Ah, uh, don't be so hard on yourself, James. We all make mistakes. Okay, actually, let me see here. It's pitch black in my room and I can't remember my buttons. Okay, so we have to go... This way? But, I mean, we have to end up here, but this way is blocked off and this way is blocked off. Just trust me, I, you know, how, I know what you're thinking. How is this blocked off? It just is, I know. So we've got to go... I think like I'm pretty sure it's boom like that. Do 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 do. I think probably we'll see. There's several things I've got to get out here that I'm I don't want to miss. So you know I might venture off the path to uh, get those. Like I think down here. Yep. stuff really just truthfully don't want to get myself cornered that would be a disaster wouldn't it handgun bullets ampoule don't know if that's the proper pronunciation of ampoule probably is if you guys remember in Silent Hill 1 you, we would just run by absolutely everything and I mean everything and uh, we did the same thing here just run don't pay any mind to anything that happens we'll just avoid it I should have been doing more of that seeing that hospital I spent I swear 30 minutes just beating nurses to death with steel pipes, but, you know, that's a mistake I made. No, I don't think there's anything. Oh, there's stuff in the way. I mean, we really do just have to wonder. There's, um, blocked off. See, here's more bullets. Health drinks. Left on the doorstep of somebody. They won't need them, surely. <laughs> Don't come outside. You won't need to. Um, here's this scary tunnel. I think we... Let's let James rest a minute. He's slowing down on me. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so there's actually a new enemy type in these. They're... Whoa, oh my god. I actually almost got hit by them. They are pretty easy to avoid because they are on the underside of the vent. Um, they cannot go above the vent, and they can only get you if you're right on top of them when they attack. Oh wow, let's take a look at them real quick. They got some weird, like, suckers. Thank god they can't come up. So, let's take a look at where we're at. Saul Street. We have to go here, and I believe down this.
this way up to the park. Yeah, seems about right. So we'll just keep trucking. Hold on, wait, I've never, I don't, have I ever seen this camera angle before? What? I have never been in this room. What? A memo? I'll wait at Barnelli's. Yo, let's... What? Let's go ahead and save. That is awesome. Motorhome. I have never seen that before. Barnelli's. What is it? What? Okay, well, let's... Where's that at on the map? Neely, not Nelly. <laughs> Nelly. Am I stupid or something? Leave in the comments if I'm stupid. Shotgun shell. Oh, wow, double. Ne Neely's bar. That kind of sounds familiar. Was that a place in Silent Hill 1? They're just spoiling me. Handgun bullets. And I've just been using a pop all game. <gasps> you guys do not know the pain I felt just then. I don't like these sounds. Whoa. Accidentally paused trying to pull up my map. Okay, it's just up here. Happy Burger. Yeah, we'll grab a bite. Let's grab a bite to eat. Oh, look. Rifle shells. We do not have a rifle. What the fuck was that sound? Just pick up all this shit. We might have to shotgun blast a bitch. Jesus sakes Christ. Wait, is this the bar? I'm sorry for checking. No, it's the Happy Burger. Guys, I mean, you know, people like to say I've got something wrong with my head. My brain is crumbling. And, wow, -y, look at you. Ain't you just badass. Handgun bullets at the bar? Really? That's all you could offer? Whatever, we gotta go down this other corner of the street. So many horrible things out here. Health drink. We might get hit for taking it. No, we won't. And then I think that we go. Whoa, hey, nice of you to be watching the edges there. Should be the street with the letter and the wrench. Yep. Pick her on up, James. Come on. Wrench. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of the that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park. At the foot of the praying woman, inside of the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now, no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish the shot, stop, James. I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Cryptic. I also kind of fell apart at the end there. Didn't could say stop. I said slop or something. Jesus. <laughs> I'm bad off in the head, guys. This might be the end of the road. After I finish this, I die. This will be my life's work. Kinda grim to think about, huh? 
life's work. Guys, leave in the comments what your life's work is. Please do. Please do. That would be wonderful. Hey, what are you doing? All these stupid... Hey, what's that? Grab it, grab it, grab it, James. Rifle shells. Ah, uh, grab the health drink. Come on. Oh. You see, I, I can't wait for the remake of this game. Um, I'm sure they'll have... See, they've not done a Silent Hill remake ever. And it's cool that they started with this one. Because this one is kind of on its own. Whoa, what the hell? I'm going to write everything that I've learned so far. Maybe that will help you somehow. If you're reading this, it means I'm probably already dead. What? Hey man, uh, did you just lead me astray? What? What even? Whatever, where are we at? Uh-huh. So... Down the road to the right. Stop trying to like juke, like what are they doing? Wow, we that sound really shocked me to my core. I don't know what the hell made that. Is that something on the ground or is that like paint? Here's the road paint. You know, there's probably stuff on the left side of the street that I'm not getting. I uh, can't be bothered to go over there, really. How about we do it just once? Look over here. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Continuous nothingness. Oh well. Hey, wait, what's this? The door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. Uh, cool. We'll just go through it. So now, where are we at? Okay. Uh, this road is blocked off. We have to go here to Cat Street, get some stuff, and then go to that park. I think it's just a med kit and some stuff. But, you know be useful to have. Pretty sure it's on the left side of the street. I mean, we'll look over here. James, will you pick it up? It'll be so great to, you know, actually be able to interact with the environment and not explode in the... Hold on, there's still something. Okay. Alright, let's make it to the park. said anything in like 10 seconds my head was gonna explode Jesus yeah they you know they've not started a Silent Hill remake yet. I mean they have obviously Silent Hill 2 remake has been started but they didn't start with like the first game which I think is odd but also not really at the same time because this game is very much its own thing it's not really connected to Silent Hill at all. Where am I at? Where am I at? Let's just find out. Jesus Christ. Back off. Yeah, it's not really... It's its own thing. It's not really, you know... There's Silent... Uh, uh, Harry is not mentioned in this game. Cheryl is not mentioned in this game. James is not mentioned in any other game to my knowledge. So it's it's really cool, you know. I'm quite a big uh, fan of this game. Very happy that it's getting a remake. 
would not have been opposed to a Silent Hill 1 remake. Love that game, it's wonderful. It could use some work, and a remake would be the perfect way to do that. I hope that Konami doesn't mess up the remake, that would be a disaster. An absolute disaster for not only me, but for just them, the franchise itself, because Silent Hill Ascension is not doing great. Sweet Jesus. I'm just very worried. Very, very worried. Now, we're not going to go to that statue just yet because there's actually ammo I have to go out of my way to find. And, uh, I'd rather have the ammo and not need it than need it, not have it. So, here it is. Handgun bullet. No, shotgun shells. Can we get a shotgun shell check uh, real quick? How many are we at? 91. Oh, we're gonna have more shotgun shells than handgun bullets. Jesus. We're one bad motherfucker. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this wrench shit. What was it I said a few episodes ago? Something about Johnny Joestar being the best written character of all time or some crazy shit. I don't know. I've been... He might be the second best. I think James here might be the best written character. Um, probably. He's definitely my favorite character in any media. Is this that statue? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and dig this up. Yep. What have we got? Small metal box with the it's fucked up. So let's go ahead and where's that wrench? Booyah, old bronze key. That is to the museum. Historical whatever the term. Historical Society, that's what it is, pretty sure. And uh, we just gotta run up the road for. Oh, look! Ampule. What if it's Ampoli? That would just be unbelievably dumb. Can you guys think of any unbelievably dumb things that are out there right now? And don't put me in the comments. That would just be absurd. I might drive my car into a lake. If you were to do that, so don't. We just run all the way up here. Hey, wait, hold it now. That's cool, look, Lakeview Hotel. That's where uh, we stayed at. James and Mary. Cool. Let me make sure I'm going the right way really quick because I'd hate to not be. Yeah, we are. Okay. Let's go ahead. You know what? Let's let's just drink one. I'm not green. Let's drink another. There we go. Now we're good to go. You guys ever walk home? It's very similar to, the, to this. Just like instead of horrible monsters trying to kill you like that it's I mean it really is just walking in the dark and uh walk you know it's it's actually pretty cathartic I would like to walk in my fog one day it's not really foggy ever around where I'm at I would like for the conditions to be set where it is <laughs> 
you know what's really cool is um, in the first game it was like July and it was snowing. I thought that was awesome. And uh, hey James, let's not get hit by her. Why is she swinging so much? Jesus. Okay. Oh my god. Here we are. Let's go ahead and save. Cool about the motorhome. That's still awesome. Cannot believe I've never been in there. So. Broken lock. Awesome. I think that's the first one of the episode. Anything around here? Waterfront landscape. Alan Smith. Date of birth and death unknown. Scene of this area from long ago. From style, it looks like it was done 1820. A lot fewer people then, and only a handful of buildings. Oh, check this one out. I've come very close to getting this painting in real life. Let's go ahead and illuminate it. Misty Day, Remains of the Judgment. It's him. Let's just get another look at it. That's awesome. I've come very close to getting this before. It's not very much. Uh, but I am... I am very interested in this. I've not bought it yet just because... Well, I would say I don't have the room on my walls, but I've got more than enough room. Um, I don't really know why I haven't bought it. I mean, it's awesome. It's uh, just wonderful. Wonderful piece of art, wonderful piece of work featuring Red Pyramid Thing, as he is called in this game. I'm not going to check that painting out. It's not worth my time. Alright, guys. I guess, uh... Yeah, nothing useful written. We can check out every one of these paintings. Um... <laughs> I don't want to... Is the problem. Wait, hold on. I don't have a map. But, hold on, let's go. Let's go back here and get a map. I think we can get one, right? I guess not. Actually, I'm <laughs> what a liar. All right, let's just go down these steps. Oh, so scary! They actually ain't that scary. I mean, they could be potentially, potentially to somebody. They are really scary to me though and could you imagine slipping down these though holy I'd hate to see the shape you're in at the bottom you'd probably be bent into like I don't know a U imagine the human body in a U shape like a perfect U <laughs> that would be pretty fucking gnarly let's just say that When would you guys have given up on those? I don't think I would have made a pet. Like, fuck. I, any type of stairway I can't see the bottom of, I'm not fucking doing. 1820, prisoner number C221. I can't read the rest. What is this? What am I looking at? Oh. Okay, so... Here we go, boys. More of this. Come on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's dead. Hey, fuck you, buddy. This is keep it going. I've got all day, man. What? I guess he. Okay. 
So we are in a prison. Um, pretty fucking gnarly prison. I don't know what James is looking at. It's kind of freak. Oh, Hank and bullets. Built during the Civil War. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> oh, that got me pretty fucking good. I hate that motherfucking thing. A hole. The hole is dark and I can't see anything. Will you jump down? Who in their right fucking mind? would jump down this hole. <laughs> I guess we'll just go ahead and jump down it. Come on, James, let's go. Mary's, we gotta save Mary. <laughs> Just back in that case. Alright, this is my absolute favorite part of this game. We're trapped in this well. It's got a bunch of water. And... Let's just, uh... Figure out... This is it. Okay, it's kind of a puzzle. Go around the wall... And just figure out... Where James says it feels right here, and then you get a door. <laughs> I mean, come on! Oh, sweet fucking Jesus! Yep, yes, sir. Yep, we'll be going. Okay. And then we go in this room. Oh god, this this could be a problem, guys. Spiral writing K K. What the what's wrong with me? So our battery dies. Okay, and you use this one that we got from the hospital. And there's a hundred spiders all over the room, and we have to go to this leak. And we just guess the code. I'm gonna guess two, one, three. Nope, wasn't it. Let's try three, one, two. Nope. How about... Okay, come on. Let's try two, three, one. I cannot believe I actually got it that quick. It's dumb bullshit. I don't really like it at all. <laughs> what is this key used for? Do we use it here? Yes, we do. Let's see if there's anything uh, different. Lock is broken. I'm not. No, there's nothing different in the sewer, so. Here we go. Let's go down another hole. I want a little flashlight like that. Do you guys know where I can find one? <laughs> Leave it in the comments. If you've made it this far into the video, I want you to leave holy shit in the comments. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. You, you killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes. 
Like that other one. Just for that you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie. <laughs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here. Honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie! So, Eddie is fucking crazy. Now look, doesn't it look like there's a key right there? But you can't pick it up. Wait, maybe that's a what? I don't know, but you can't pick it up regardless of what it is. Let's go ahead and grab this health drink. And... Another health drink. Wow, we. And let's grab this. Tablet of the Gluttonous Pig. I think there's a map in here as well, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe the map is in a different section. Um... Doesn't appear to be really anywhere in here. Let's go ahead and save. Go ahead and just overwrite this. Save. And we'll go out this door. I'm ready for you. Okay, nobody's here actually. Here's the. Handgun bullets, so cool. There you are, map of the prison. Come on. One, two, three. extra three just because if I come back around here and that motherfucker is crawling I'll be very upset first aid kit in there we don't have a, uh, whatever we'll do it I don't give a fuck <laughs> we don't really have reason to go here yet um, I mean we can because uh, we don't have to come in here again later. We got the slider that we'll need. Whoa, where are we? That's broken. Alright, so we're in a bathroom. He nothing over there. Nothing here. I knock on the door, but there's no answer. Okay, well, nobody's in. Just have to go. Oh well. If you guys remember, in Silent Hill 1, bathroom scare happened. Um, that one was pretty good. This game's was not really the greatest. You guys remember, what was it? It was like uh, the girl was crying. It's in Dead by Daylight. If you guys know me, you know I like Dead by Daylight. I'm sick. I'm sick in the head. Man. Really, that game is horrible. Do not play it. If you ever start playing Dead by Daylight, stop it as soon as convenient. I've been playing it for seven years, and I. God, it's been so miserable. I. Seriously, guys, I'm still sewing and I didn't even recover me for what the... That's crazy. Seriously, though, do not play Dead by Daylight. It is a fucking mess. It's a disgrace. It's fucking horrible. At the time of this video being recorded, we do not know the next killer after the Xenomorph. And I am willing to bet money that it is Springtrap. 
Um, hunting rifle and rifle shells. There's the rifle, by the way. Very powerful gun. So, if it's not spring trap and dead by daylight, I am going to lose my fucking shit. I, it's probably going to be stranger things if something stupid and I'm not ready for it. Mentally, I've been playing it seven years and I, and I just want, I, I just want it to be over. I just want it to be over. Let's read this. Toluca Lake, the town's main tourist attraction. This clear, beautiful lake has another side as well. It may seem like a typical ghost story that you might find in any number of old towns across the country, but in this case, the legend is true. On a fog about November day in 1918, the Little Baroness, a ship filled with tourists, failed to return to port. A newspaper article from back then simply says it's most, it most likely sunk for some reason. No shit, dumbass. I'm sorry. Despite an extensive police search, not a single fragment of the ship nor any of the 14 bodies of passengers or crew has ever been recovered to this day. In 1939, an even stranger incident occurred. Many pages torn out. Many corpses rest at the bottom of this lake. Their bony hands reach up towards the boats that pass overhead. Perhaps they reach for their comrades. Uh, imagine a city official saying, so you know, horrible, horrible thing happened with the boat. It shows up. Oh, uh, I guess it sank for some reason. <laughs> oh god. You know what the worst part is? Many city officials, state officials, government officials do that. And, um, it's a wonder how they get in public office. Truly a f fucking wonder how they get elected in the first place. But you know what? All you can do is get out there and vote guys at the time of this recording it is not election day and um it's coming up and you know by the time you see this i guarantee it'll probably be thanksgiving but i hope you guys went out and voted i'm gonna vote i'm not gonna say who i'm voting for that would just be a disaster but get out there and vote <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. What the fuck? Let's, uh... You guys think I've earned a blasting or two? Yeah, let's fucking... Let's fucking blast them. Get in here. Come on in, boys. <laughs> oh, let's get you. Where are you, man? Hey. It's still alive, but you know what? I'm not going to be fucking bothered to uh, do anything about it. What's in here? Wow, a whole lot of nothing. Keep on shaking, man. Let's go ahead and reload this, get the pipe back out. So where have I been? We gotta go there too. What? It's locked. Why is the fire?
So, no enemies are in here, actually. Burning Man. Cool. 436 people at a recital. Cool. There's these, like, if footsteps. I don't know what is making the footsteps. You can't ever really find it. Tablet of the oppressor. Huh? Okay, cool. So we actually take these... He's looking at it up there. I mean, you could probably see it. I don't know. So we take these... Uh, where's my inventory button? Can't see it. How many we have? Three? One, two, three. Yep. So we take these and head out this segment of doors. Let's go ahead and find them. I swear to God, mother... So let's go ahead and combine, combine, and combine, and use. Awesome. Ah, oh, that didn't sound good, did it, guys? Let's go back out of here. And a horseshoe. Dope. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's use one of these. Whoa. What are we doing here? Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, you're looking at me, man. Good. Back off. Oh my god, I hate So, we take uh, the horseshoe, the wax doll, and the lighter. And. Wrong door. Alright, so here is this gate thing. Where is my stuff? Combine, combine, and combine, use. So we melt the wax doll into a handle. Isn't that cool? Let's go ahead and. Can I not save? Where was the save station, guys? Whatever, we don't need it. We'll just jump down here and find one. Yep. So many holes. Broke knock. Broke, huh? I get the whiff of some rotten smell coming from inside. Oh, Jesus. So, looks like we're in some sort of... Did what move? Oh, corpse. Corpsey, corpsey. <laughs> this corpse into this hole? No way, James. You into that hole. How far does this thing go? Yep. That time he just straight in. I don't like the music in this fucking room. <laughs> Sick shit. And another hole. Do I really have to drop through it? Yes, you do.
I guess he had a rough landing that time. First aid kit, rifle shells, handgun bullets, shotgun shells, you can actually strafe in this game, I have not used this once through the whole playthrough I think. Probably a really good feature. You can press both buttons to turn. Do a little 360. Really cool. I should probably use these because there's times where instead of like I'm at a corner facing this, like I gotta instead of just going right, I go this way, then this, and then I walk left. Oh well. I wonder where a safe station would be, because it's about time for me to call it a day, guys. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh, oh speak of the devil. Alright, guys. That's going to do it for episode 4. We are going to call it a day. Uh, hope you learned a lot from this episode. Hopefully you go out there and vote. <laughs> or have voted. I can't really make you vote unless I get this out today, which I won't. Anyway, well, I'm going to save. See you guys in the next episode.